Jason, really quick, let's switch gears to another college football topic that uh, certainly made headlines on Friday, and it was the news uh, that a high-profile player at Georgia has been arrested. A wide receiver by the name of Rara Thomas was arrested on Thursday night into Friday. Uh, he's facing multiple family violence charges and was being he is being held in Atlanta, or excuse me, Athens Clark County Jail. Uh, he was previous. I'll read. He was charged with cruelty to child, children, family violence, a second degree felony, two misdemeanor mm. counts of battery, family violence. Here's the crazy part. He had previously been arrested uh, and accused of felony false imprisonment because, uh, you know, a similar situation. He was part of a pretrial diversion program and the charges were eventually dropped. I bring it up because Georgia has had one issue after another, after another, after you another. Have a, do you have a number? Like I, I would, uh, I, I didn't look it up, but I was curious what the actual total number is now. I, I, I don't have a number. What I could tell you is I believe there's been five driving-related instances this offseason. And by the way, I'm not comparing speeding to a, a, a you know felony, basically. Kidnapping. That's this offseason. Just this offseason. There yes. was a ton last year. Well, and that's what I was going to say. Couple things on that. One, first of all, uh, one player was arrested for DUI. We, know, I mean, you don't need me to tell you how serious that is. Uh, and I, uh, there, there were two players that were charged with reckless driving. The problem was one of them was a senior captain who's a four-year starter. Right. And so that's just this offseason. But even if you want to say, okay, speeding, shouldn't have done it, whatever, uh, one, it's one of your most experienced players, a guy that should know better. And then two, it obviously comes, Jason, off, as you said, uh, quite a few arrests in the 2023 offseason, and that doesn't include... Uh, a tragic accident that took the life of a staffer named Chandler LaCroix and one of their players named Devin Willock. So you had a tragic accident last year, multiple speeding arrests last year, multiple speeding arrests this year. Now a player who had previously been arrested is arrested again. He has been suspended indefinitely from the team. But, J-Mart, I'll tell you, man, I know all these crimes aren't the same. I'm not comparing speeding to what, what Ra-Ra Thomas was accused of. What I am saying is... This does not feel like just normal kids being kids college football. And I think Kirby Smart needs to be held a little bit more accountable than he is. So the number is 24. Wow. 24 arrests. Dating back to the start of last offseason? This is the last couple years. They're working on it and getting it to me. Um, Yeah, look. You remember the number, like how Florida was talked about? Of course. I think the difference is people kind of like Kirby Smart. Thank you, yep. That's really it. Because if this was, give me a prime example of something people don't like. Lincoln Riley. Deion Sanders. Imagine if this was Deion Sanders. And I'm not trying to play. They would be getting absolutely hammered from every corner Everywhere. But for some reason, Kirby Smart has this, I I don't know what it is, this approachability factor, this likability factor, and he conducts himself very well. And as such, like, we don't talk about this anywhere near as much as we should. Like, this is is a cultural, this is cultural rot that's kind of happening at Georgia right now. And it's not, it's not something that can't be fixed, but the question needs to be asked and is not being asked, like, what's the price of victory? Like, at what point are your guys going to be held accountable for things like this? Because, yes, you mentioned, again, this is a, a much more serious incident than most of the others. But the conduct issues don't seem to be going away, do they? Mm-hmm. And I'm not even saying they're escalating because I don't think that that's – I don't think there's a, a through line between what was happening and then this incident, for example. There's just too much stuff happening that doesn't need to be happening. And eventually, if you're in a position of authority, you actually have to you have to take accountability for that. You actually have to step up and hold people accountable. And you actually have to stand up and say, yep, it's my responsibility. This guy's not going to play. I don't think that's going to happen. Because Georgia wins too many football games, and that is a pretty sad statement. Yeah, and I'll just I'll wrap this pretty quick because we got to get back to DeSager. But 
So I agree with everything you said because the Kirby defenders, and I'll, I'll give Georgia fans credit. The last couple instances I have seen even Georgia fans say something has to change, but the Kirby defenders will say uh, he's done everything. Well, he hasn't done everything because as best as I can tell, I haven't seen anybody miss playing time or significant playing time. And and I'm not the just throw everybody off the team. You know, Nick Saban has that famous quote about, you know, giving kids second chance, whatever. Okay, I get it. But at the same time, you want to send a message, whoever it is. Now, this kid, Ra Ra Thomas, I can't imagine second arrest that he ever plays again. I, who knows? We'll see. Whatever. And definitely suspended. The reports don't look good. But you want to send a message to your team. Like I said, you have you have a fourth-year senior, fourth-year starter uh, that got arrested for something that is completely avoidable that everybody should know better at this point because one of his own teammates literally died doing this. And so I don't know what the number is. But if you want to make a point, take away what is most important, which is playing time on the field. Don't tell me about how many laps they run after practice. Kirby Smart did say at media days that the players now get fined through the collective. Only thing that did, take away playing time. Just say you're suspended X number of games and don't make it one, don't make it a half. Make it an actual punishment so that maybe some of these players will actually pay attention. 